Salutations, and welcome to the next installment of VKMT's Halo Mod Tutorial Series. For this entry, we'll begin our introduction to Gorilla and Foundation, the tag editors of MCC's Halo Editing Kits. Gorilla is the tag editor used for Halos 1, 2, 3, and ODST, while Foundation is coupled with Halos Reach, 4, and 2 Anniversaries multiplayer. As was mentioned in the first episode, tags are akin to spreadsheets of data that make up the components of Halo's game assets. Tags can reference other tags to create webs of data that make assets whole, such as weapons, vehicles, characters, effects, scenery, and a whole bunch more. Before you edit any of the tags included in a game's editing kit, it's good practice to back up the original versions of the tags in case something goes wrong or you wish to go back to vanilla content. This saves you from having to re-extract from the zip file to reinstall everything again when you just need one or a couple of files. You'll also want to ensure that any tag that you want to edit is within your tags directory. Otherwise, Gorilla and Foundation will refuse to open them. Today's tutorial will showcase the ways you can edit a Halo tag using Gorilla and Foundation. For this installment, we'll be modifying the weapon tag for Halo Combat Evolves Pistol. I chose Halo CE's game engine as a way to demonstrate that each of the features I modify will pretty much apply to every rendition of the Halo editing kit. To open the pistol's weapon tag, we'll go to File, then Open, then we'll go to Tags, Weapons, Pistol, then click on the pistol.weapon tag. The first way to modify a tag is to change a given numerical value. Within the context of a weapon tag, this can apply to features such as the rate of fire, the number and strength of scope magnifications, ammo capacity, and more. Let's change the Halo 1 pistol's fire rate to start things off. We'll scroll down to the trigger section, which is renamed to barrels in Halo 2 and onwards. We'll find the rounds per second boxes, which incidentally is the first numerical value option here. Let's give the pistol the same rate of fire as Halo 1's assault rifle which is 15 rounds per second. For that, we'll simply change the pistol 3.5 rounds per second to 15. We can then save our tag change by either going to File, then Save, or hitting Ctrl and S at the same time. To see our change in action, we can see them in either Tag Test, or starting with Halo 2, Sapien's Player Simulation feature. For this video, we'll open CE's Tag Test build and load up Chiron TL34 scenario file. Then, fire the pistol. Player. Another way to modify a tag is to change a drop-down setting. For this example, let's find the movement section in our pistol weapon tag. We're going to modify our mobility based on a certain action that we perform. Where it says movement penalized, click on it, then change it to when zoomed. Set both forward and sideways movement penalty to 0.5. Save your tag, then go back to tag test. Whenever we zoom in, our movement speed is now cut in half. Yet another way to edit a tag is to change a tag reference. An example of a tag reference within a weapon tag is the projectile tag reference. The pistol calls upon its bullet projectile tag reference to shoot them in game. Let's change this projectile. We'll scroll down the triggers, or barrels in future halos, and find the projectile tag reference. Click on the box with the ellipses, then go to Weapons, Plasma Cannon, then select Plasma Cannon.projectile. Hit Save, go back to Tag Test, and fire this monstrosity. The last example that I'll show off in today's tutorial is through checking and unchecking flags. We're going to have our pistol explode when we drop it on the ground. To accomplish this, we'll find the weapons section and locate the detonates when dropped flag. Check it off. Directly above these flags, we'll see the detonation settings. Let's set the detonation delay, which essentially acts as a countdown timer, to 2 seconds. We'll change both values to 2. For detonation effect, let's add in the fuel rod gun's explosion effect. Click on the ellipses box, go to Weapons, Plasma Cannon, Effects, then click the Explosion Effect tag. Save, then go to Tag Test. When we pick up another weapon, 
then swap back to the pistol, the weapon will detonate in our hands. That's because swapping the weapon out from your inventory technically counts as dropping the weapon. We want to see its intended effect though, so we'll need to spawn with another weapon since Chiron TL-34's default weapon loadout is just the pistol. Let's open the level scenario tag in Gorilla. File, then open, then go to Tags, Levels, Test, Putt-Putt, which is Chiron's internal name, then Putt-Putt.Scenario. Scroll down to Starting Equipment, then locate the second item collection tag reference. Click the ellipses box, then go to Tags, Item Collections, Single Weapons, then select whichever weapon you want. I'm selecting the Needler, then Save. We'll have the Needler in our back pocket, but don't swap to it since the pistol will detonate in our hands. Find another weapon on the floor, pick it up, and the pistol will then explode when it hits the ground. Some things to note with this last example. Item collection tags are a set of multiplayer-only tags that command the game to spawn specific items, like weapons, power-ups, and in Halo 2, vehicles. These item collection tags are how you spawn weapons in multiplayer for Halos 1 and 2, but they no longer exist in Halo 3 multiplayer and onwards, with those games simply opting for the weapon tags themselves. For campaign maps in Halos 1 and 2, you don't use item collections and just opt for the weapon tags. Similarly, the starting equipment box in the scenario tag, which controls what weapons you spawn with in multiplayer when using the map default setting, also no longer exists in Halo 3 and up. To modify the same settings for that box in Halo 3, you just modify the player starting profile box instead. It's actually good practice to prioritize using Sapien to modify scenario settings rather than doing them in Gorilla, but there are moments where some scenario settings don't appear in Sapien and only show up in Gorilla. The aforementioned starting equipment box for Halos 1 and 2 multiplayer is an example of that. Anyways, with all that said and done, let's look at the final result of our pistol. It's a perfectly balanced variant that fires at 15 rounds per second while shooting the fuel rod gun's projectiles. While powerful, the caveats include a movement penalty when zooming in and the weapon explodes when swapping it out or dropping it. There are a few other ways to make tag changes, such as editing functions and changing colors, but we'll leave those settings for another day. And that's going to be it for our second installment of our tutorial series. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to never miss another upload. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions about what was shown today. This is the Ventral Vatum. Always remember that you matter more than you think you do, and I'll see you on the great journey.